Over the first couple of years of the channel, I used to do these informal subscriber updates, letting you know what would be happening over the next six months to a year. But in the end, they were kind of pointless because I pretty much changed my mind every time. So anything that was included was almost like a list of things that are not going to happen rather than a list of things that are. So today I'm sitting around some of the things that have influenced the channel over the last year. So we're gonna have a year in review. We're gonna take a look back, take a look back at some of the projects, successes, that have happened over the last 12 months. And we'll also have a look at some of the statistics. It's really quite remarkable how many minutes you've watched on this channel. It's absolutely blown my mind. I didn't even think to look at it until recently. I was like, a what? <laughs> so yes, let's get on with that. Hello everyone, my name's Adam, and of course, welcome back to the channel. So let's cover some of the big things that have happened this year. First off, probably the biggest thing, TCT Show. This is an event in Birmingham at the NEC, which happens pretty much every year. And it covers all sorts of 3D printing from the kind of community level all the way up to industrial level. It was an absolutely fantastic event for me this year. I got to talk to E3D, Dyes Design, Filamentum, RepRap World, Prusa Research, Rigid Inc, Usnes, Fab, Photocentric, Bondec, Duet 3D, and the list just goes on and on and on. There were so many people there and it was really a nice opportunity to talk to people in the industry, see what's going on, see what they're doing, talk to them about what I'm doing and it was just really a lot of fun. Now one of the downsides of that event is that it's a fairly kind of industrial event. In fact, over the last few years it's becoming more and more industrialised. So the likes of HP and Stratasys with their huge and expensive machines are taking over more and more of the floor at the show. However, it looks like we're going to have an event coming in the UK called 3D Meetup UK, which will be a kind of community replacement for TCT. So everyone that's into 3D printing on this kind of home level, desktop level, can meet up, talk about what they're doing, talk about what's next, what's upcoming, what they've been printing and all this kind of stuff. So I will be attending that this year. I have already booked my tickets, so that's a commitment that I've already made. So that one will be done. Not only did I get to meet industry partners, but also people in the community. Miles, for example, the admin for the largest 3D printing group on Facebook. And Richard Horn, Rich Rap, someone that needs pretty much no introduction. Meeting all these people was absolutely brilliant for me. It was nice to kind of feel a part of the community and to just get to know each other. Towards the end of the year, I've had my first Patreon subscribers. So we have now three supporters on there and that's absolutely fantastic. It makes me really happy that there are people out there that are willing to support what I'm doing. I'll leave a link down below if you want to join as well, but there's absolutely no pressure. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Looking at some of the videos we've had, there have been five videos related to Prusa Research that have each had more than 20,000 views. For me, at the beginning of the year, 20,000 views on a single video would have been absolutely ludicrous, but now one video is close to 100,000 views, and that is absolutely epic. So I'm glad you've all enjoyed watching those. So what else have you been watching and how much? Well, there have been over 2 million minutes watched. Minutes, minutes watched on the channel this year over the last 365 days. So what is that in some real numbers? Well, if you wanted to achieve that just on your own, you as one person, you would be watching 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year for four years continuously. That's about two million minutes. That is a lot of minutes. Those two million minutes translated into about half a million views, 500,000 views in one year. That is pretty ludicrous. Not only that, but we've had loads of people joining the community, 4,700 new subscribers. And if you take a look at the channel now, we're only at about six and a half thousand. So that means the channel has grown from like around 2,000 up to over 6,000 in one year. That's pretty good. So welcome to all those new people, 4,700 of you. I hope you're enjoying the content so far. So we have just over 6,000 people on the channel. How much are they interacting? Well, there's quite a few likes. How many of those do we get? Well, this year, about 8,200. That's quite a lot, isn't it? And over 2,000 comments as well. My goodness, that's a lot of typing that's been going on. You've also shared videos 1,600 times and added 7,500 videos to a playlist of your choice. And all of that has just been accomplished with 33 videos. 
I used to do one every single week, but this year I've had some breaks in there, so not quite up to the 52 for one a week, but 33 videos is still quite a few and seems to have achieved quite the number of views, likes, comments, interaction and appreciation from all of you. So I guess that's pretty much it for me at CRT for this year. I just want to thank you, the viewer, for watching, contributing, subscribing, sharing. You've done a whole lot of that. So thank you very much. I do appreciate every single one of you. And well, this has gone very cliche, very quickly. I think it's great to be part of a 3D printing community. This community is just really welcoming and helpful. And that I barely get any comments that are just inflammatory and rude and trolling and all that sort of stuff. So that makes me feel good that my viewers, subscribers are really into it. They're just engaging and being nice. So thank you for that. All that's left for me to say is Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, and I will see you in the next one.